Is it, is it starting to feel a, a, a little bit closer now? <laughs> it's, it's, the, the last few weeks have been mad, to be fair. It's like, you know, you got on my phone, all the lads finished and they're on holiday, and it's like we've just seemed to be playing games and games, and it's mad. But for me, it's all right because I've missed, missed a month of the season through suspension, so I'll carry on playing for however long it takes. Um, but yeah, we went obviously up to Wembley yesterday, so it sort of all started really kicking home. And now we've still really got a full week ahead of us. Obviously, with the game on a Sunday, we've we've had a we've had a few of them lately, so we're sort of used to the the preparation Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Friday, Saturday, obviously. So um, it does feel like it's around the corner, but I'm sure this week's not going to fly by. It'll probably be a long week. <laughs> and and did the uh, the trip did it give you the, the the buzz, the tingle about it? Yeah, it did, yeah, but obviously, you know, I've been been there before and been Millennium before and it's totally different when you get people in there, you know, it's even during the warm-up you sort of, you're out there but you do pick up a little bit of buzz but as soon as you walk out of the tunnel and hear the noise, it's, it's a whole different ball game so we can go there and look around and do whatever but it's always different when, when the fans start singing, it's... It's a whole different game, yeah. and I guess you'll have fond memories, obviously, of the, the the last trip there with with Rovers. But this time, potentially playing a a, a much bigger part. Yeah, no, nah, great memories from the last time. You know, it was it was pretty much probably one of I hadn't really even broken through into the team then, so it was it was a privilege just to be on the bench and be there and be part of that day. It was an unbelievable day from from start to finish, and you know, for the weeks after as well. So something that you know, if you could. Uh, you know, that was my first promotion. I've been lucky to have two now, so if I can make it three, it'll be, it'll be unbelievable. But, you know, you just got to go into it and, and play the game and, you know, be calm. Don't let it affect you. And, you know, if we do that, I'm sure we'll be fine. And, and that is quite often what decides these big games, yeah. isn't it? Which club copes with the other, the pressure the best? Yeah, and, um, you know, f for me personally, I'll go into it just like another game, hopefully. And and play as I have been in the last few playoff matches. Of the, you know, there's massive pressure in them games, but we've been totally professional in both of them, and not, it doesn't seem like the pressure has affected anyone so far. Um, it's just another game, you know. It's, <laughs> apart from the big stand around the, the pitch and all the fans in it, it's, you know, you're on the pitch just playing, and it's, it's up to the boys to make sure they don't let the occasion affect them. And, it's, we've got quite a few lads, I think, that's, that's been there before and maybe played at bigger occasions like that, so hopefully that helps. And do you allow yourself, when you were having a, a wander around on the turf, to, to think about smashing it in the top corner? Well, they didn't have the goals up and the grass was a bit long, so it did, it did actually just feel like we were doing a tour like the rest of the kids around there. So it's when you when you go to the game on, on, on Sunday and you walk out and it all seems a bit more real then, so it's just... It's, it's stupid to get a bit carried away, do you know what I mean? It's, it's just get there and play the game. And, and obviously the, the prize at the end of it is getting Rovers back into yep. the, uh, the the football league. And for those players who were here last year and part of the relegation, and for you obviously as a, a local boy, what would that mean to you? Yeah, it's massive. It's, it's, you know, everyone knows I've been a supporter all my life. And like I just said just now, if, if if I wasn't here on loan, I'd probably be going up to watch anyway with 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 the lads or whatever. And so it's it's massive to be on the pitch and being able to 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 have an influence in in the result. And you know, I'll be doing all I can to to try and help us win. And you'd be up against potentially Craig Disley yeah. in the the other side of it. So what, you, somebody you'll know pretty well. Yeah. I've, I've, had, I've spoke to him a couple of times, but um, I haven't actually played against... I don't know if I've ever played against him, to be honest, actually. But um, obviously played alongside him for, for a long time and he had a big big influence in the last time we went up. So I said just now I'm quite looking forward to the challenge because he'll probably be one of the better midfielders I've come up against since, since I've been down in this league. So hopefully it'll be a good battle.